Bryce Prescott. Right? Yeah. Yeah. To the show. A little wartime comedy, huh? That's <laughs> the right time. So I'm glad you guys came out. It's good to be here. I, I traveled to get here. I came, uh, I live in the suburbs of Utah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> premature. There's sympathy there. Uh, uh, yeah, um, there's, it, there's not a lot to cheer for. I get that. Um, small town, kind of feel to it. Uh, I've lived in a few places like that, like smaller towns. Uh, I, I noticed there's a common thing among a lot of them, and that's uh, young people having kids. And they're not religious, so they're mistakes. But <laughs> uh, I see it a lot, though. I see like young people pushing strollers around. Yeah, I'm not. You know, I'm not, I don't really like it too much because uh, I still hang out with young people. And, you know, I'm not trying to hang out with some kid. I'm not allowed to. Anyway. Uh, just like a few weeks ago, my buddy invited me over. So I, so I go over to his house, and he pulls out a joint, and he lights it, and then his daughter walked through the room. And I was like, bro, should your kid be here right now? He's like, dad, don't worry about it. She's chill. That's how I meant, dude. I wasn't asking if she's a narc, you know? I was talking about the psychological effects, actually. Um, He's right though, she's actually super chill. She's, like, she's a really good man. Um, she's gonna need to plug. Uh, I give him credit though, like he's a father, he's providing for his family. Uh, it's more than my dad did for me, that's why I'm here for you. <laughs> that's how that works. Um, like I met my dad as an adult. You know, I was the adult. Well, he was too, whatever. Um, two adults. And when you're, you know, I'm just a guy meeting a guy, like, in his 50s that I have to form this insanely close bond with, like, I was gay, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I don't mean to, I don't mean to, whatever. I, we did, I did do it a lot, though, calling things gay. I used, when I, like, middle school, we all did. We called everything gay. Cars gay. <laughs> The dog's gay, probably, dude. <laughs> Anything, dude. We did it so much that they had to have an assembly in the school <laughs> to get us to stop calling things gay. <laughs> they brought in like a whole presentation. Like they showed, they had a PowerPoint. They showed pictures of celebrities. <laughs> They'd be like, "Do you think he's gay?" We're like, "Yeah." We're like, "Well, he's not." So. <laughs> And then their angle, they wanted us to replace the word gay with bunk. <laughs> yeah, don't fix the problem, just change the word. <laughs> like, don't say gay, say bunk. And me and my 13-year-old friends were like, that's gay, dude. <laughs> I'm not doing that. That's the gayest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> so I'm watching some bunk porn the other night. <laughs> tough to come out to my dad's bunk, you know? But, uh, he was probably like, oh, this is your top bunk, right? Like, <laughs> uh, no, I'm well acquainted with, with the LGBTQA plus community. Uh, two of my ex-girlfriends are now gay. So, <laughs> uh, I have a certain way with women. <laughs> so, two times now. When I tell my friends they have the same reaction, they're all like, oh man, they dated you and decided they were done with men, huh? I'm like, if anything, I think they realized they were done with men and then dated me. <laughs> I'm gonna try it out. Um, got some real feminine qualities I'm rocking up here, you know? Uh, I, I should have known something was up when we started scissoring exclusively. <laughs> different, baby. Can I tell? What's wrong with us? I tried to get over my exes. Uh, I was on a date uh, a few nights ago with this uh, girl. Uh, she, uh, she, we, get a, we got an argument actually at one point. She did this thing that uh, all women, in my experience, end up doing in an argument at some point. She did the guy voice. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know 
know how all women collectively agreed on the same guy voice? But like, it doesn't matter, race, religion, age. And it's a bad impression of a deaf person. Right? right? It's like... <laughs> I'd love to drop that bomb on you, dude. Every guy's heard this in the same reaction. Like, that's not what I sound like. <laughs> Who is that guy? I was thinking, like, have women been doing this, like, historically? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's explore. <laughs> Did, like, JFK and Jackie, like, ever get into it, you know? She's like, oh, John, you're always complaining, mm, the CIA's gonna kill me. <laughs> like, Damn it, Jackie. <laughs> like, Ava Braun. <laughs> She's like, und Adolf, you always complain, oh, the Jews, the Jews. <laughs> She accused me of mansplaining oh, at one point. Yeah, what I was really doing was just plain old manipulation, but... <laughs> uh, mansplaining. Uh, put me in a tough position as a man. I didn't know how to explain to her. Uh, it's not actually what mansplaining is. Uh, it's a different thing. So I didn't have the best way I knew how to communicate with her. Actually, mansplaining is a different thing. <laughs> I tried too hard, you know, with women, I gotta stop trying so hard. Um, I was like, uh, a couple weeks ago, I was like texting with this girl, and um, I was hanging out at a bar with some friends texting, and she, I, was, I got the text that we're all waiting for is guys, uh, at one point she said, come on over. And so I said, bye friends, I'm leaving. And one of them pulls out a little something from his pocket, and he goes, hey, do you wanna take this, uh, an enhancement pill before you go? I'll take it with you. I'm like, dude, I'm good, I'm 25, I'm good. I don't need that. And he's like, hey, just saying, man, you know, makes the night last a little longer, do things you couldn't do before. And I was like, okay, I'll do it, you know? <laughs> and so I took it, and whatever, when's it kick in, I'll figure it out. And so I drive over to her place and uh, knock on the door. She opens the door, sobbing, like she's a total wreck. <laughs> Within the 15 minutes that it took me to get to her place, you know, grandma's in the hospital, sister got kicked out, you know, dog's dead, and I'm just getting rock hard through the whole story. <laughs> <laughs> Unnatural.